Hey everyone, I am Mr. Helper and today I am going to show you how to find Heatman 2016 save file location. I have divided this video into two parts. First part will be how to find Heatman save file location if you are a Steam user. Second part will be how to find Heatman save file location if you are a Epic Games Launcher user. Okay, so that's been said, let's get started. Okay, so this is part 1. How to find Hitman save file location if you are a Steam user. What you have to do is simply go to the location where have you installed your Steam launcher. By default it will be installed in your C drive if you hadn't changed it. Okay, simply go to the location. Okay, once you open the Steam install location, you have to find a folder named as user data, this one. Try to find it. Once you find it, open it. Okay, once you open user data folder, you will going to find a folder with 17 digit long name. That's your Steam user ID. Open it. Okay, once you open the user ID folder, you will going to find a, another folder named as 236870. Open it. Now inside 236870 folder, you will going to find an another folder named as remote. Open it. Okay, in my case, you can clearly see that I am having two folders. But in your case, you might only find local profile folder or system data folder or none of these folders. Why I am telling you like this? Let me explain. I have this game in my account. The problem is at the moment I am not in the position to download that. 50 60 GB to just to create save files. So that's why I have downloaded this save files from internet. And I'm pretty sure that that website is clearly providing lots of cracked game save files. So that's why I'm not comfortable to tell you which folder you will going to find inside remote folder. But not to worry, inside remote folder whatever files and folder you are getting, that's your hitman save files. If you want to create backup of those save files, you can do it. Let me show you what files you might find inside these folders. I'm not sure about, sure about these files, okay? You might not find these two files or not find any of these folders. But let me explain you one more time. Inside remote folder, whatever files and folder you are getting, that's your Hitman save files. If you want to create backup of this, uh, those save files, you can do that. Okay, just create backup of those uh, files inside remote folder. Okay, so this is how you can find Hitman save file location if you are a Steam user. Let's proceed to the next part. Okay, so this is part 2. How to find Hitman save file location if you are an Epic Games Launcher user. What you have to do is simply press Windows key plus R button. Now type percentage sign APP data. Then once again percentage sign. You can write this APP data in capital letter, that means uppercase, lowercase, it doesn't matter. Simply type percentage sign APP data percentage sign. Click on OK. Now try to find a folder named as IO Interactive. Open it. Now inside IO Interactive folder, you will going to find an another folder named as EPIC. Open it. Now inside epic folder you will going to find an another folder with some random numbers and alphabets. That's not a random numbers or alphabet, that's your epic games id. Simply open it. Now inside this user id folder you will going to find an another folder named as hitman. Open it. Ok as I explained in part 1 in detail, these are not my save files. So that means you might not find this local profile folder and system data folder inside hitman folder. Not to worry if you want to create backup of your hitman save files you can do it. Whatever files and folder you are having inside hitman folder, this folder, just create backup of it. That's all you have to do, okay? Okay guys, before you go let me tell you few things. I have created a separate playlist on this topic, how to find game save file location. In that playlist, I have added lots of videos like how to find Hitman 2 save file location, how to find Hitman 3 save file location and many more videos like that. If you are interested in those topics, then please check the description box below. I am going to leave that playlist link in the description box below. If you are interested, you can check it out. Okay? Okay, one more thing I want to tell you. 
I have a second channel named as Papno and sometimes I go live on that channel. If you are interested to watch me live then please check the description box below. There will be all the social website links of my second channel. If you are interested you can also check my second channel and subscribe me over there, follow me over there, okay? It's up to you. So that's been said, it's time to say goodbye. So until then, take care, have a nice day and I will see you next time. Bye.